So my name's Janish and I'm Venus's little sister. They were very matter of fact actually when they gave the information. So there was just, um, Venus, we've got some results for you. Um, we've, we've had a look and we've identified some abnormal cells. The abnormal cells are cancerous. And that was it. I think from that point, I, could, I can remember looking at Venus's face and it was a state of shock. She just didn't register. The first thought that went through my mind was, we will fight this. We will do whatever treatment it takes. And it's, it's almost like we. So it, didn't, it wasn't like it was happening to Venus. It was like, this is happening to me. I couldn't even look at Venus. You know, I couldn't look at her because I thought, if I look in her eyes, I'll break down and I can't. I need to hold it together for my sister. I didn't see myself as her carer. I saw myself as her sister. And you've got to make sure your family is OK and totally be there for the person that this is happening to. Luckily, I actually worked for a company that was extremely flexible. So the day would start with like six till nine, work, work. Then from nine to 10, breakfast for Venus. Then go to the hospital, get your bloods test, wait, fingers crossed, go back home, lunch. Once Venus has had all her treatments, she'd be sleeping, so I'd get another block of time from one till five to do my work. They're paying my bills and Venus isn't getting much money, so we need money to keep on going. And then five o'clock comes and then it's sort of dinner time. Then I do the catch up from the emails and stuff from like seven till 10. So this went on for eight weeks, nine weeks. So it's quite arduous. You can't physically keep going and doing that. One of my friends saw me and her mum had just recently been diagnosed with breast cancer and the first thing she said to me was, um, ring Macmillan. She said, just ring Macmillan and talk to a nurse. She said, because you won't be able to tell your family what you're really feeling. And then she gave me a little green card and she gave me the number. When the strain gets too big, I think that Macmillan recognises People need to be able to have somebody help lift this strain and lift this burden. If you're in the right frame of mind, you can get through it. And Macmillan were instrumental in helping give that right frame of mind. It's unbelievably precious and valuable. And if I hadn't have had that help, I know I would have been angry. I would have been angry at my work. I would have been angry, who knows, maybe angry with my sister. You know, I don't know because I haven't been in that position, but you know, what if I ended up resenting her for being ill? Because it would have taken so much of a toll on me personally. Thankfully, Macmillan were there and I didn't have that, but that's another dynamic that many families shouldn't have to face um, because it's big enough ordeal as it is. My relationship with my sister now is so much stronger. There's a real strength in that you know that you can totally depend on each other. What you value about that person may still be the silly little things, but you are so much more grateful. <laughs>